Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz and welcome to day 11 of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Previously, we found ourselves in the Garden of Hope after a loud explosion woke us up and it turns out Captain Olimar left with our stash of juice and that's just not cool, man. We rescued him and not only did he take our only food supply, but he also stole the rubber ducky. So it's time to take our last landing here in the Garden of Hope. First, let's have a quick chat, see what these guys have to say. With the addition of these blue Pikmin, we can now confirm that there are five varieties of Pikmin. By the way, that's something that also happened last time. Based on the trends we've seen, Pikmin appear to evolve in ways that suit their surroundings. Well, that would explain how they can handle different environments. <laughs> yeah, you don't say. Well, a real struggle has only just begun. Under our command, just how far can this army of... Well, you yeah, you guys do talk too much. This entire YouTube comment section of <laughs> me. But um, I am confident that we can finish everything here today. It's just a matter of uh, just communicating well and executing it just as much. Oh, you guys, there is nothing like a wonderfully rainy day to top off our time here in the Garden of Hope, where I am going to assume we're probably going to finish it today. So uh, this might upset a couple of people, but we are going to probably start off today by doing things relatively slowly and escalating over the course of the day, which I am guessing we're going to really be seriously hurting for time. So we're going to start by getting these guys into the forced state of maturity and I'm gonna have you go off that way Whereas Brittany has been upgraded. She has gotten her promotion to being a grade A certified planter of her own or gardener I should say that has a, a little more pataz to it And I do think that we do have some some usefulness out of getting a steady supply of ultra spicy today It just takes a second and it's the point of the game where I'm going to start using it a lot more to get some of these uh, Late game sort of breaks done. So we'll have you do that and of course Captain Charlie will continue his journey into doing what he should have finished yesterday and that's doing some uh, puzzly business so I'll be go off this way and there's plenty for just a single person to do over here so I'm not particularly worried but I'm gonna have uh, out of she's gonna go over here and he's gonna play around with some of the nectar and this is this is gonna be good going forward where we need to revisit a lot of the older uh, areas and dealing with that stuff. So you guys are good. Ooh, we might actually get all of them. I'll have you walk over there and you can just send these guys up that way and now you can join Charlie. So here we go. Let's go back to Adif and that didn't take long and finish off the yeah, maturification process. Nice, nice. Cool. All right, so you're there. And what I really hoped we would have been able to do would have been to get rid of this and kill these guys, but uh, that's fine. We have time today. I'm just a little worried about some of this. So I'm going to have maybe like 10 of you start working on that. And I'm going to toss, I think, let's try 22, which would leave us with 14 over here, right? So I'll leave you right there. Uh, I'll have you have these guys work on that. Brittany is now going through here, so let's take control of her because this is where we're going to need a little bit of help. So, with you over here, I'm gonna have you get tossed right there, and boom. Okay, now I do need another captain for the rest of this to work, so let's see. Ooh, that was quick. Let's go into battle real quick, starting with the Waddle Puss. He makes his return. <laughs> is he gonna? Uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, that was close. I love the way that these blue Pikmin just pierce through the water. It's so satisfying. Those guys didn't stand a chance. Uh, so I'm going to send 30 of you guys off this way. And uh, our assistance is required over here. So let's, let's go ahead back with our 20. I don't think we need nearly that many. And I guess I will probably toss somebody up there. Maybe, maybe you. Thank you. So... You can go up there, and I'm going to toss some yellows. I think blues can reach, so that we can toss uh, Charlie over there. So there we go. I hope that's enough. Here, let me send you that. Now, we're going to head over here towards the center so that they can stop falling off. And now I need you guys to follow me 
over here where we can start doing this stuff because this teeter-totter weight puzzle is very annoying. So this fruit costs 10 Pikmin to carry back. And I think if we do this, we should be fine. So let's see. Yes, I have 22. And including the captain, we need at least twice its weight. So there we go. And if we're lucky, we will be able to do this. Come on. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to take all that. Oh, shoot. You know what? I screwed up. Let's do... Oh, shoot. I totally screwed that up. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I don't care to grab that. We don't need it. It's just a dumb old data file, and there's absolutely no reason for us to use it. Okay, why does my squad numbers feel weird? Seven? I... Oh, that's, like, that's different. Okay. So, with... Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Let's separate... She is going to be working on this. We don't need the yellows anymore, so I'm going to go and take those back to base. And over here is where things are going to start getting a little bit more involved. We're going to get into battle. And as good as the blue Pikmin are underwater, um, land is a completely different story. So we're going to head over here and have our second encounter with our dear friend, the Bug-Eyed Crawmad. And we want to be careful because he will bite, he will attack, and he'll be very annoying to deal with if we're not careful, which is why I'm using the spicy. Let's get him on his back and toss him up there. Now, I think my timing was just a little bit off and I'm being a little too careful, but, ooh, that's not bad at all, all right. I was expecting to do a lot less with that. Uh, obviously, blue Pikmin, not so great on land, but it's still fine if you latch him onto an eyeball. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And there we go. Now, what is bound to upset a lot of people is that after we defeat this guy, we're not going to be taking his body back, I'm sorry to say, because it's just kind of a waste of time and we really need all of it that we can today, so there you go. We're going to focus on bringing this back, and with these two, with everything having been brought back over here, 43. Shoot, are we missing two Pikmin back there? That would be really bad. I think two of them got left behind because that's another area where it gets really bad. Um, we're going to take 30 of these bad boys and that's probably going to be... You know what? Screw it. Let's take 40. Why not? Let's take 40 rocks. Let's see if I care. They're still going to be bringing that back. All right. Come on, fellas. Let's go over here. And they're actually going to have built a structure. So the main conceit of this stage is for the blue Pikmin having constructed like this upside down bowl so that we can throw Pikmin there to get across here to build this bridge from the other side. But there is kind of a mini boss and he's really annoying. So I'm gonna have you guys just keep on walking for the time being and it's just been constructed and I can't believe I forgot this. Uh, yeah, let's just, I'm gonna have you guys actually just walk there because I need her to get rid of the blues. We no longer have any real need for them. So you can go back home and you can put them away for a little bit. Meanwhile, we can just start by uh, throwing here. And this is another area where we do need a uh, third captain to do things. So luckily we still have to throw from the other side so we have plenty of time. But just to be on the safe side, we are good. So you toss over here. And you can bring reds here, but this very unusual creature is very annoying to deal with. And if you don't have rock Pikmin, it might end up being a little bit on the tricky side. So with you, let's go ahead and get rid of all of those, all 50 of them. And we're going to start walking over here, since that's basically the only thing that we can do at this point. Because the enemy that is waiting for us inside of that rusty-ass can is called the Peckish Aristocrab. And unless you are, you know, real good with your Pikmin, uh, has the tendency to be very annoying. So, Charlie, I'll let you take care of that. And it's time to attack with the spicy. Okay, so he has a massive uh, claw and we can actually break it so that he can't grab us. And this really helps in stopping him from his main method of attacking, which has the potential to be really, really annoying. So as long as you get rid of that, you'll be fine, but Normally, you should just be able to swarm him. I've just been having a lot of trouble with that lately. So, <laughs> there's that. We'll get rid of these. And again, I'm not going to take his body, but just know that it's there in spirit. We'll go do that. All right. Now, we've also got more stuff to deal with here, but we also have the damn hole that has more tiles, which is really unfortunate. Very annoying. I hate it, you know? But let's go do this. <laughs> I love how they're just so enthusiastic. And... 
with you... Okay, let me think. We need to send you back over here on a rescue mission. This boss only really needs one, uh, or two captains, rather. But it only needs one, and I'm going to go into it with two. So that's going to be a fun time for all. Uh, oh, and I never grabbed that data file over there. Probably snag it. But halfway through the day, that's actually not too bad. Um, so yeah, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to go ahead and fill up on my pinks. Because that is all we really need for this fight, is at least... 50 pinks to make our time here uh, kind of hilarious. But we do have a little bit of nectar opportunities here, so that's kind of nice. We'll have you guys work on that. There you go. Very nice. And while they're working on that, I suspect they are nearly done. Well, you guys didn't do anything. Hey, it's nice. All right, a little bit faster. Okay, so you're here. Go and rescue the friends that got left behind. That's just a secret file. Um. I don't think we need it. I might show what they do at the end, but they really had just more notoriety in the Wii U version of the game, which unlocked secret movies, and it just it more or less was just kind of like, eh, we don't really need to grab it. It's just for a badge, and I could have had the opportunity to grab it. I just messed up, and I suck, but that's right. Oh, cool. Are we done? Did we do the thing? No, we didn't. Something happened. I don't know what, but let's start by uh, grabbing some of this stuff, and we will be okay. Come on, come on. There we go. Uh, and actually, with Adif, oh, hello, we're getting this again. Why, that is the most beautiful model of an avocado I've ever seen. Yeah, I'd better do something. Like maybe wait an extra second or something. So yeah, I'm gonna have you walk over here, and you two captains will be the guys that will be doing this job. So, and actually, ooh, yeah, we're fine. Um. I was thinking I probably wanted more rocks, but I think 30-something rocks is probably fine. So, come over here. Let's go and take on the boss, shall we? I hope we have enough time in the day. Something tells me we probably don't. So, we'll take you guys. And now we wait for the one leaf picnic. <laughs> oh, this boss, you guys, is going to be uh, uh, some trouble. So, let's go and break through the crystal and see what lies inside. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present the Quaggled Myerclops. This guy is super annoying in the sense that, well, we just need to take him out with a bunch of wings, and by just charging like that, we will be good for doing just that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and toss as many of these as we can before he starts his attack, which will involve a tongue. And if your Pikmin make contact with it, it's real bad news, but that's okay. So that's all we need the rock Pikmin for. We are done with them. So let's go ahead and back out as quickly as we can because he's going to start charging us. And I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here. And I know I'm wasting I'm wasting time, but there we go. You are dismissed. And you can take these guys. So he body slams. He will try to kill you. It's really annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to use another spicy. But I want to wait for him to back off a little bit. Pikmin can drown in this area also, so keep an eye out for that. All right, so wait for this one and charge. The second he does that, charge. Now, it's at this point where we're going to want to attack this part of him. And we're just going to throw a couple up there to toss him off. And this will activate his attack, which is his tongue. Stay away from it and get ready to charge from up here. If we're quick enough, we might be able to do some really good stuff with it. Come on, do a lot of damage, man. Damn. Okay, half. That's fine. So I'm not afraid to using uh, Spicy again, so he's gonna do that though. Did I lose someone up there? Anyways, if you would not, oh my God, is it glitched? Okay, I have 53, I think that's what I had before. Uh, do I need to aim for this one now? Why is, oh shoot, oh shoot, get, none of them got squished, okay. All right, there, that's, that's new, okay. Back up, back up. So I screwed up the strategy. You are really just supposed to be able to get them in a single cycle usually, but that's okay, we can do it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use it again. And we'll just go ahead and toss a couple there. And what you, oh my God, I'm stuck under it. Uh, you just want to wait until after he starts using his tongue. And here, you know what, shoot. 
No! No, 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 no. Kill him, kill him, kill him. <laughs> guys, guys, you can do it. That is not how that fight is supposed to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, that must be his spaceship. He nearly escaped with our fruit. What a scavenger. Wow, do I detect a little bit of envy in the voice also? <laughs> let's get this disdainful scoundrel back to the Drake straight away. Indeed. So let's start off by uh, dismissing everyone. And thank you for coming back in one piece. Uh, yeah, you guys can be dismissed there and sure we'll have you guys swarm that so we actually have a pretty decent amount of time left I'm confident we'll be able to bring him back so that could have definitely gone a lot worse Olimar god why do I keep calling you Olimar I know we're talking about him and all but I'm gonna have you focus on taking this path back because with all that having been said and done we're we did it man if we have time we might even be able to go back for that data file so I'm gonna head over here, and actually, since you're alone, let's grab that uh, data file that was in here. <laughs> and with you, I'm gonna have him pick up the rest of the the stuff here. Oh, hi, hi! Don't, don't do that. Nice. Why are you drowning? I should have died there. I really lucked out. It's a good thing I used that ultra spicy, but it's the dolphin. It's so good, man. And I really do. We hope we have time for this. <laughs> No, we're not getting that other data file. It's okay. I just don't want to have to spend time getting to it, you know? So, while these guys are doing that... Uh, oh, there you are. Let's go ahead and... Nice. i have you start calling people back. I don't need any more. I think we basically recouped our losses. Did you... Oh, did you grab it? Nope, oh, there it is. Alright. You know what? I think we have time. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. What else are we looking at? What else are we looking at here? So I am confident they will make it back, which means, yeah, screw it. Let's maybe try for it, I guess. Uh, this guy can probably go away. We don't need that many, but just enough, you know? So let's do this, head back, and God, I love it when it rains here. I'm only happy when it rains. This is fruit, right? Looks like it's wearing armor. Yeah, it does. Okay. So we still want 100 Pikmin on the field, just so that they don't start sprouting. Did I send you guys going that that way? I think I did. I think I did say go that way, but you know that's fine. We'll have everyone go together. <laughs> it's probably faster. Look at that massive fruit, though. God, that's big. I'm actually surprised I was able to do this all today. <laughs> Analyzing life form. What do we got? Ah, oh, receiving a transmission from the Reco. Analyzing. Recovered. Life form. It's the food thief. Okay. <laughs> Life form is in stasis. Subject spacesuit has activated for sleep mode. Damn. Bing was in possession of 46 days supply of juice. Jesus. Where is it on him? And one soft vinyl toy suitable for a toddler. <laughs> Damn straight he was. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Olimar stole our Jews after we rescued him. And he took the captain's rubber ducky? That monster. <laughs> yeah, you better have some answers when we wake him up. Nice. Alright, that is everyone. Beautiful. This was a decent day. Um, I'm going to take 40 yellows just in case. As long as they're all with us, we should be fine. I just want to make sure we're not undercounted. And we got we to gotta run. We got to cheese it over there. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not supposed to. Damn it. Okay, well, I guess we're plucking real quick. We have three captains here, so... Damn. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, put them back. And let's run. We're totally not going to have time, especially if I keep taking the wrong turn. <laughs> Alright, we can do it. So let's see. I have to kind of map it out in my head real quick. I wonder if we can just go through or if I have to actually toss everyone the way. Because they're going to be, like, very oddly situated, right? Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. All right, well, let's toss a bunch of you right there, a couple of you right there. Okay, I don't know why, actually. Ugh, this is dumb. This is, I did not think this through at all. Nope, no. Nope. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so. Nope, it's not. It's not happening. It's just, it's just a secret file. It doesn't matter. 
We don't need to waste our time here. <laughs> because we did it, and we did enough. What does the hint say? Oh, if we've done all our work, skip ahead. Is that what it's been waiting all this time for? Yeah, I, I completely jumped the gun over here, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but that marks the end of an era. We're done with the Garden of Hope. There is no returning here for any reason. Which means we are actually on pace to beating this game in the quickest amount of days possible. Bum, 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 bum. Whew, I was a little nervous. I was a little bit nervous, but we got it done. That quaggled Myerclops fight could have definitely gone better, but you know what? We got it. We got it finished. It's good. Man, I am going to miss it, though. You know what I'm saying? Into the sky we go. And we also got Olimar back, so that's good. Four fruits, two of which are new. <laughs> so we have the astringent clump. What is this supposed to be? Is this also an orange? I don't know. It's probably something like that, but we'll continue. It's, not, it's definitely not a tangerine, but that's fine. It gave us a lot. The searing acid shock and the avocado, the scaly custard, and last but not least, the wayward moon. Beautiful. So that gives us a jolly three servings, and we're at 64. Whew. Such a relief to have our juice supply back. Damn straight it is. Yeah, we have plenty of juice left. Awesome. So we are well on our way to beating this game in the next episode, if we really wanted to. Okay, good. I was actually a little nervous that someone may have actually died during that, but that's all right. I really should have given uh, that boss to the blue Pikmin, but that's okay. I don't think we'll ever really need too many of them, but who knows. Whew. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, some last final words from our sponsor, Alf. We managed to capture the thief, Olimar. The habitation had been eluding us. We retrieved our stolen food supplies, but boy was Brittany upset, and rightly so. After we all calmed down a bit, I started thinking that there is something fishy going on here. We need to get to the bottom of things. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz. Thank you so much for watching.